I am uh, delighted to welcome you all this uh, today's special uh, uh, lecture uh, delivered by the uh, professor uh, Dr. Nandu Kumar Savant sir, uh, Parvati Bai Chowgule College, uh, Arts and Science, Goa. Uh, <clears throat> as a continue to explore the various dimensions of geographic research, so today's sessions promises to be the particularly inciting, uh, uh, insightful focusing on the crucial aspects of the research that is particularly the literature review. Uh, for the uh, introductory part, uh, the uh, I will hand over this uh, session to the uh, Sukanya Kese to introduce the uh, 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 introductions about the guest. So, uh, Sukanya, hello, Sukanya is here. Yes, sir. Ah, yes. yes, sir. Yes. Yes, you can start. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so today's uh, guest speaker is Dr. Nandakumar Savan, former principal and presently professor of geography at uh, Parvati Bai Chaugulia College Autonomous. He's a distinguished academician and researcher based in Goa and has significant contribution to education and institutional development. Uh, he has 33 years of teaching experience which also includes 13 years of administrative experience and 28 years of research experience. Under his supervision, five research scholars have successfully been awarded PhD. And further, uh, Sir has published more than 75 research papers in the area of uh, demographics, tourism, tribal studies, education, urbanization, and women's studies. He has also edited <laughs> or heard seven books and has completed nine research projects and two are ongoing. The most prominent one uh, is preparation of Bondla Wildlife Management Plan. Uh, presently, he is a part of international collaboration research funded by European Union. He was visiting faculty to the University of Jayavardhane Vardhanapura and Kelinia, Sri Lanka, and also University of La Union, France. He was visited. He has visited more than thirteen foreign countries for academic deliberation. His de dedication to education and leadership has left a lasting impact on Goa's academic community. Being passionate about his profession, he has been able to open up various avenues for students' engagement beyond classroom to instill a sense of responsibility and belonging to the community. His initiatives are GLOBE, that is Geographers Loving Our Beautiful Environment, and Geographers for Sustainability. Through this, tree plantation, beach cleanup, and community awareness is undertaken. Sir, we are pleased to have you here for to, as a uh, today's guest speaker. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Sukanya. So, uh, I would like to invite uh, Professor uh, Nandukumar Savant <coughs> to, tell you, uh, to start the lecture and enlighten us for this important topic. Savan sir, hello. Savan sir. Oh. May I audible, Savan sir? Yeah. Are you? I am I audible? Yes, 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 sir. You are okay. audible, sir. Uh, good evening, and uh, uh, thank you, first and foremost, Dr. Munde and the girl who introduced me. It's always a pleasure uh, to uh, have interaction with young geographers. Upon uh, English, Madhi ani Marathi Madhi bolu bilingual, and uh, hope I hope you will have a very interesting session. Uh, the topic that I'm going to talk is about review of literature. And when we say review of literature, you know, it's one of the most important topic uh, because, uh, you know, today it has become a very important uh, component to understand various aspects. So uh, let me share my slide. I hope it's visible. Hello, is it visible? 
अपन जे आज टॉपिक घेना है रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर ओके लेट्स फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज लिटरेचर रिव्यू और रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड विल गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो बेसिकली मी माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज इनटू थ्री मेजर कंपोनेंट्स एक म्हणजे एज रिसर्चर्स व्हाट डू यू रिक्वायर स्किल्स एंड व्हाई डू यू नीड टू डू रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर दैट इज पॉइंट नंबर 1 सेकंड थिंग हाउ डू यू डू अ रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर दैट समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and the third thing which is today review of literature has not just become a thesis based point but it has become a component of whole thesis te apan kasa bagnar ahot because today there is a whole lot of difference in how we are going to do a third component which is uh, today research is looked uh, a research review has been looked from a very broad perspective okay pehli ghost and i want a interaction class ha huh? marathon run process hai ka product hai I repeat again, marathon run process hai ka product hai. Process. Uh, it is a process. It is a process. What could be the product of marathon run? Medal. Better. Correct. Very good. Very nice. Correct. Ultimately correct. Ma, if you look at these two components, process and product, review of literature process hai ka product hai. प्रोसेस प्रोडक्ट सो रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर इज अ प्रोसेस ओके एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ना एक नॉर्मली एक वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग इज दैट अगर अपने प्रोसेस चांगला पाजे or if you want to have a very good process it is important that what qualities do you have because if i am saying marathon running ahe ta marathon run la pehla manje tumcha stamina pahijel second thing tum physical fitness pahijel then third thing mental compatibility pahijel and uh, fourth thing you should have an endurance and persistence endurance manje mehnat karne chi aplya madhe swata chi shram shakti pahijel ani you will not give up at very easily सिमिलरली जेव अपन रेव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर मन तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ गुड रिसर्चर रेव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर सा पेली यू हैव टू हैव अ वेरी गुड लैंग्वेज स्किल्स सो फर्स्ट एंड फोरमोस्ट ना इट्स वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट अपने जे वाचल अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक वेरी इंग्लिश मध्य एक शब्द वो दैट इज कॉल्ड अ कॉम्प्रिहेन्सिव स्किल्स तुम्हें क्या वेरी वेरी वेल गुड कॉम्प्रिहेन्सिव स्किल्स पाजे तू दुसरी गोष्ट यू शुड बी वेरी लॉजिकल and i am going to teach you today as a logical manje kasa ka hai very important thing third thing clarity manje khub vela i see lot of students come ani majhe kade sangtat ki sir i have done 50 uh, review of literatures but then i ask you do you have a lit- uh, clarity of what you have done and if you have a clarity you will be able to do a well definition part of it so ek interlinkage hai sagle je mi point tumhala patavle i am just putting it on the slide it is important for us to understand all this very uh, very very clearly and maybe jo upon some uh, when we finish our presentation parat upon will revisit this okay next question is that uh, all of you are from geography yes sir yes sir yes yes ye mala sanga tumhala he pahila sanga pahila geography cha class tumhi tumhala kadhi athavte tumcha ayushya madla third standard madhe sir third standard okay anybody else fifth standard okay i okay i will understand it is third standard or maybe fourth standard or fifth standard we'll keep this question so two questions i am keeping you in the bank first what skills do you require to do a good review of literature second thing when did you first learn geography okay with this two premises म्हणजे हे दोन एझम्पशन जसं आपण क्रिस्टॅलस थेरी मध्ये दोन एझम्पशन घालतो की एव्हरीथिंग इज होमोजिनियस तसे हे दोन एझम्पशन घेऊन आपण आता लेट्स गेट इन टू अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सिरियस टॉपिक ऑफ वाय डू यू थिंक रिव्ह ऑफ लिटरेचर इज इम्पॉर्टंट एलिमेंट इन रिसर्च अँड वेन रिव्ह ऑफ लिटरेचर इज टू बी डन ह्या दोन प्रश्नांचे उत्तर द्यायला पाहिजे तुम्ही आता येस एनिबडी 
सर कैन क्वेश्चन कैन रिपीट सर हाँ रिपीट करू मी एक प्रश्न जे स्लाइड वरती है वेरी क्लिअरली स्लाइड दिखो है ना सर स्लाइड मूव हो कदाचित मूव हो कदाचित फर्स्ट स्लाइड दिखते सर फर्स्ट स्लाइड फिर बर आता दिखते स्लाइड शो चालू करा ना सर स्लाइड शो स्लाइड शोच के नहीं पूर्ण एंटायर स्क्रीन दिखते आता दिशत नहीं है स्क्रीन नहीं स्क्रीन दिखते टोटल दिशत नहीं पूर्ण तुम विंडोज दिता शेयर के लिए ना शेयर के पूर्ण दिस्त स्क्रीन अः सर ओके एफ इलेवन मजी मे मे है ब्राइटनेस है ओके एफ टेन है मज बो तो मी एफ टेन वेदर इट इज वर्किंग ओके डुप्लिकेट बट इट्स लाइक फॉर द सर बटन स्लाइड शो च बटन है ओके एक मिनिट लेट मी फर्स्ट पर एक्सिट कर ओके स्लाइड शो स्क्रीन हाँ स्क्रीन करा सर पूर्ण शेयर करा पूर्ण एंटायर स्क्रीन शेयर करा दोन पैकी एक चूज करा खाल हाँ मैं विंडो स्ट्राइक घेन आई एम सींग शेयर स्क्रीन ओके लेट मी सी नाउ आता दिस्ते विजिबल होता है नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दिस्तो नहीं दिस नहीं दिस वाइट दिस्त ओके वन मिनिट पी एच डी मीट आता कैन यू सी द स्क्रीन नो नो सर नो सर नो ओके ओके जस्ट हेल्प मी आउट हाँ ओके जस्ट हेल्प मी आउट आता मी आता सर कैन आई गाइड यू यस यस प्लीज गाइड मी आधी जे शेरिंग जे है अपन स्क्रीन शेयर करो स्टॉप शेयरिंग करो मैं आता स्टॉप प्रेजेंटिंग करो का पेला स्टॉप शेयरिंग स्टॉप प्रेजेंटिंग स्टॉप शेयरिंग के ओके देन क्लिक शेयर स्क्रीन एंड वन मिनिटी वरती एक मिनिट एक मिनिट हाँ मी आता आई हेव नाव से शेयर द स्क्रीन करेक्ट मजाक तीन ऑप्शन है एक मैक्रोसेफ एच टैब है विंडो है एंड एंटायर स्क्रीन है एंटायर स्क्रीन कर सर अच्छा विंडो नको करो एंटायर स्क्रीन करो ओके खाली शेयर है वन मिनट आता दिस्ते Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. It's still visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's get back. Okay. So, ah, uh, upon marathon, just to go back, upon marathon run process ka product hai man vichar kela. Okay. So you have said review of literature is a process and the product is either PhD award or submission of your thesis. So the second question me je vichar le ki. अपन फर्स्ट टाइम जोग्राफी कभी लेसन शिकल तो समय टोल्ड थर्ड फोर्थ सो आई हैव डन टू एजम्शन एंड आई हैव स्टार्टेड माय प्रेजेंटेशन तो आई हैव सेड दैट की पहले इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ गुड रिसर्चर एंड मोर इम्पॉर्टंट रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर कराला पाजे तो पहली गोष्टे अपने चांगले और उत्कृष्ट लैंग्वेज स्किल्स पाइजे 
दुसरी गोष्ट म्हणजे आपण लॉजिकली थिंकिंग करण्याची क्षमता पाहिजे थर्ड थिंग वी टू हॅव अ व्हेरी व्हेरी गुड क्लिअरिटी ऑफ व्हॉट वी आर रिडिंग आणि जोपर्यंत आपल्याला हे समजत नाही म्हणजे व्हेरी सिम्पल गोष्ट आहे एक विद्वान माणूस आहे त्याला फ्रेंच चांगले करून येते तर आपल्याला ते काय फायद्याचे नाही बिकॉज वी डोंट अंडरस्टँड फ्रेंच अँड दे फोर वीट इज नॉट वेल डिफाइंड इट्स नॉट व्हेरी व्हेरी क्लिअरली आणि लास्ट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग विच एक एक सिस्टमॅटिक इन्व्हेस्टिगेशनचं प्रोसेस आहे आणि जे सिस्टमॅटिक इन्व्हेस्टिगेशनचा प्रोसेस आहे दॅट इज वॉट आय एम गोईंग टू ट्राय टू हेल्प यू आउट आणि मे बी आय विल ट्राय टू हेल्प यू टू ऑल्सो टू थिंग्स विच इज लँग्वेज आणि लॉजिकल थिंकिंग मग माझा प्रश्न होता वाय डू यू थिंक रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर इज सो इम्पॉर्टंट एलिमेंट इन रिसर्च फक्त ह्याच्यासाठी का अगर चॅप्टर वन मध्ये वन पॉइंट सिक्स जे आपले असते त्या एक असतो की रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर त्याच्यासाठीच का इट इज बियॉंड दॅट पहिला प्रश्न आणि दुसरा वेन शुड यू स्टार्ट डुईंग रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर त्याचे दोन प्रश्नाची उत्तरं द्यायची येस एनिबडी येस एनिबडी हा बोला ओके रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर इज इम्पॉर्टंट बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ टॉप चूज अ टॉपिक हॅव्हिंग प्रॉपरली डन रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर विल लेट यू नो वेअर इज द गॅप ऍक्च्युली विच यू कॅन टेक अप ऍज युअर ओन टॉपिक अँड विच वॉट हॅज बीन डन फ्यू ऑफ द टेक्निक्स विल हेल्प यू गो अहेड विथ युअर पाथ ऑर हाऊ फॉर द प्लॅनिंग ऑफ वॉट मेथड्स कॅन बी यूज अँड वॉट विच आर द मॉडल्स इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम फ्युचर मॉडलिंग which is more appropriate what is to be avoided will be known a basic idea you will get to know about your topic uh, by with the help of literature review that's why i think uh, review of literature is important whereas uh, the second question when should review of uh, literature be done uh, yes. i would say initially before you start with your work or before you choose a topic uh, to have a proper idea if uh, what you are doing is relevant or it has already been done and uh, review of literature keeps on going continuously with uh, as you choose a uh, sub topic uh, that time as well you can do review of literature to have better understanding of what you are doing super very nice so me just i will repeat for everybody all the students first and foremost thing is that as the uh, as it has been said review of literature is a continuous process there is nothing that oh, i will start review of literature maybe at this point of time research no it is like a process which can start when do you start review of literature i think before actually you start even registering for phd or whatever it is because your uh, selection of your guide selection of your topic will depend on your research proposal so research proposal is a very important component and if you cannot do a review of literature for writing a research proposal i think you have not done a good review of literature so my question is that when did you learn geography unknowingly or unknowingly to me review of literature sathi jeva tumhi articles vachta same thing mala vatte geography we learn from first day of school ani when we go to school apla favorite subject kutla asto nursery school madi drawing yeah drawing ani apan we draw uh, house we draw trees we draw mountains we draw sun we draw birds ani when we come to a formal class then it is told as atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere correct so same thing review of literature also is unknowingly or knowingly you do it when you do a writing your research proposal and that's where it starts and actually when you do research then your guide also says ki review of literature karala pahije and all these things so have you chosen the right topic what should be the title how do i evolve the data source which area Uh, of study should be what are my objectives and all this sati ek mahatvachi ghost aste ki aplyala ek confidence level develop karala lagto and that confidence level comes out when you do a review literature and research proposal ultimately doing a primary study and where you do a good review of literature part of it okay so this is a very important thing ki review literature will give you something validation and in research validation is a very important thing can anybody tell me what do you mean by the word validation or why validation is important and how do psychologists do validation may i sir yes uh, is it is it cross checking of facts and figures correct it is cross checking of uh, facts and figures one thing second thing the level of confidence to me statistics apply karta 
confidence level 95% and all these things is nothing but validating your data more very simple ghost hai the more review of literatures you do you go go on doing your validation because you get a confidence ki evda lokani he wo research kaam kelela hai and i am doing a longitudinal work and therefore it's very important cross checking and giving yourself of confidence that yes what you are doing is correctly uh, and uh, that's what part of it so, okay so very clearly uh, it includes defining research problems formulating hypothesis collecting uh, data analyzing data and then coming to an conclusion so do you think review of literature is important the answer is yes before you actually get into your uh, very good research work you need to do a little bit of review of literature okay so very clearly it gives you a clear uh, clarity of your subject and your top topic because you have been able to do part of it okay so me ek overview dilo now let's get into very technical component of how to do review of literature so the meaning of लिटरेचर रिव्यू मीन्स एक अपन सर्च कराए यू हेव टू सर्च यू हेव टू सर्च अ आर्टिकल विच इज रिलेटेड टू युअर टॉपिक तो पहली गोष्ट यू हेव टू लर्न टू सर्च थ्रू सर्च इंजिन मे बी मेनी अदर थिंग्स दुसरी गोष्ट यू शुड बी एबल टू डू अ रेव्यू सो वेन यू द वर्ड रेव्यू मे अपन एक समरी और यू शुड बी एबल टू कम टू सर्टन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दैट आर्टिकल इट्स वेरी क्लियर की अपने वॉट डज द रिसर्चर वॉन्ट्स टू से एंड देन एज समबडी सेट की रिसर्च गैप सैम्पलिंग करेक्ट होती का नहीं और वॉट पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड एक्चुअली दैट इज वॉट इज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सो मेनी ऑफ द रिसर्च जर्नल मेनी ऑफ द थीसीज विल से लिटरेचर रिव्यू संबडी मे से रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर लिटरेचर सर्च ऑल दिस मीन्स सेम पार्ट ऑफ इट बट द की वर्ड जो अपन मुख्य शब्द यू शुड बी एबल टू चूज अ रेव्यू रेलिवेंट लिटरेचर जे कॉन्टेम्पररी लिटरेचर है वाचर विच विल एनेबल अस टू गेट अ बैकग्राउंड इट विल एनेबल अस टू डू अप्रोचेस एंड इट इट विल इंडिकेट वॉट इज कवर्ड एंड वॉट यू नीड टू डू सो वेरी क्लिअरली अपन जेव what do you mean by review of literature point 1 is that you should be able to do a relevant review of literature and what will review of literature give us it will give us background it will suggest us approaches or methodology what we call as and it will help us not to do what somebody else has done apan tela english or in a uh, what to call as research language we can say that what is called as research gaps okay so that's what we have to understand okay so very clearly what is review of literature review of literature is a compilation of current knowledge on a particular topic ek dusri gast manje critical evaluation of different scholarly sources such as books articles and publications and third thing it has to be presented in a organized manner in a specific research uh way or in the way it is investigation okay uh question to all the class what are the three key words in this first key word what is the first key word first key word compilation of current knowledge compilation of current knowledge fantastic compilation of uh, uh current knowledge manje to me i will talk to that later on whether we can go for historical review literature or not they happen but current knowledge why do we require current knowledge why do we require to understand current? to create a base uh, of the provided knowledge right. it is uh, talking uh, something it is it is helping you to do a uh, uh it is helping you to get a very good uh, what is happening presently in the world of research that is what you will get okay second ka hai why do you want that critical evaluation yes what do you mean by the word critical evaluation what do you uh, mean thoroughly by... analyzing what has been published so far right. what work has so, been done so far uh, uh, i don't know but as a research scholars na tumhi bloom's taxonomy mun vachala pahije uh, as teachers you should run bloom's taxonomy and bloom's taxonomy uh, very clearly says ki there are uh, about uh, you know six stages first is remembering second is understanding third is application fourth is analysis uh fifth is evaluation and sixth is synthesizing or creation 
सो व्हेरी क्लिअरली अगर तुम्हाला अनालाइज करायला येत नाही इव्हॅल्युएशन करायला येत नाही देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी लिटल क्रिटिकल अँड देफोर व्हेरी क्लिअर वर्ड इज दॅट येस यू शुड बी एबल टू डू अ क्रिटिकल इव्हॅल्युएशन दॅट मीन्स यू शुड बी एबल टू कमेंट ऑन युअर ओन वेदर दिस इज एक्सेप्टेबल ऑर नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल and you should be have able to have your own statement of thought process so that is very important when we talk about critical uh, evaluation okay next 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 uh next third uh, third word kutla important hai organize man iterative it has to be organized investigative a... yes pardon repeat repeat again हॅलो सर तुमचा आवाज कदाचित येत नाही मला ऐकायला येतोय मला ऐकायला येते येस सर आता आता येतोय सर स्पेसिफिक रिसर्च प्रॉब्लेम ओके सो यू अंडरस्टँड फर्स्ट व्हेरी की वर्ड की इट इज यू हॅव टू लर्न टू कंपाईल व्हेरी क्लिअरली दॅट इज समथिंग विच इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सेकंड थिंग यू हॅव टू लर्न टू क्रिटिक very important why should we do yes why should we do rev literature hello so your voice is breaking in between okay just give me a minute then just give a minute one minute am i audible better yes sir yes sir. i just shifted to a new yes, computer let just give me a minute now then again to upload Okay can you see the screen Yes sir yes sir Okay 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 chal Yes sir So ata let's not get disturbed uh, okay so we have learned definition of uh, rev literature so uh, the point that i'm discussing is very clearly ki to define the limit of research manje uh, let me tell you if you do not uh, define the limit it becomes very very broad ani uh, chapter number 1 normally we say that 
what are the limitations so limitations are not about time not about money but in your research what were the limitations that you put because then when you send it for evaluation and other things it's very important that yes the person or the examiner extra examiner will ask you why have you not done then you will say that sir i have limited my research to this point of this because this is what i am focusing so so it gives you a very narrow down and move ahead part of it second thing manje uh, you will avoid duplication you do some research and then you realize that there is already lot of work that has been done so you avoid duplication and the third most important thing which i feel is that uh, you are doing further more research than what is uh, previously done and that is why review of literature will uh, be enable to do a very important part of it okay so very very clearly uh, it helps to improve the knowledge first second it establishes a, a, a lot of um, baseline very important thing and it values to your subject that is something which you take on okay so uh, what are the things to me you should do first and foremost you should have a very clear cut understanding of the topic second potential area of research this are very uh, then you should be able to uh, you know uh, do further investigation part of it okay so let's take a feedback review of literature helps in avoiding duplication of work yes or no yes Yes. 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 yes 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 okay very nice literature helps in standard and quality research proposal yes 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 yes, yes. 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 okay very good third what are the three keywords of literature review atta we had done a discussion what are the three keywords of review Correct. 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 very good uh first is review you should be able to do a good review and okay compilation and critical investigation critical evaluation fantastic that word is very important critical Logical. investigation is a very good thing okay okay fantastic so what in the first part of our lecture we have understood two important things ek manje what are the qualities required for to good for a good researcher or to do review of literature i will repeat again before i finish my first part a you should have been very good language skills second thing you should be having a good knowledge of your topic third thing you should have a good logical reasoning fourth you should have a ability to do a critical evaluation first second thing we learned that review of literature is not a ultimate aim but it's a process which is continuous and the third thing what we learned that a review of literature is going through or uh, having reviewing articles so that you will be able to critically investigate and do a critical uh, write up on that particular part okay now very clearly let's go to the next uh, uh, everybody knows what is this what is this this screen what is this what is that called as it is chapter number 1 correct everybody understands yes. say yes no yes, yes. yes sir sir tumhala vatte that yes. you are going to do review of literature only for that point 1.6 or beyond that should be beyond that beyond, beyond that, that. Beyond uh, what are the things that you, what review of literature will help you to do what then um to have a proper research to orient our research or say way of thinking or say uh, experiment in a right direction to achieve our goal okay okay, okay. that's very fine it's sir, very philosophical uh, sir, but still set a benchmark uh, sir okay. set a benchmark against which you can compare your findings okay okay that is what why sh you should do review of literature so this is what i'm talking trying to tell you that old school madhi review of literature was a part of a first chapter आणि वन पॉइंट सिक्स मध्ये आपण सगळे एक एक पॅरेग्राफ मध्ये रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर लिहित होतो बट टुडे लेट मी टेल यू रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर हॅज गॉट अ वायडर स्कोप अँड वाय यू शुड डू अ वायडर स्कोप दॅट इज वॉट आय एम सेईंग तुमच्या राईट स्क्रीन ला राईट साईड ऑफ द स्क्रीन यू कॅन सी रिव्ह्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर विल हेल्प यू टू डू फोर मेजर इम्पॉर्टंट कंपोनंट्स फर्स्ट इट विल हेल्प यू टू डेव्हलप अ कॉन्सेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क विच इज वन पॉईंट वन सेकंड थिंग इट विल हेल्प यू टू स्ट्रीमलाईन युअर ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह विच इज 1.3 uh, year then it will help you to find out database and methodology 
because others also have found out their research work and something called in text citations sagan la maida what is in text citations everybody understands what is in text citations okay a food for thought for you people what is in text citation what is bibliography and what is uh, uh, references here nantar apan ek charcha karu if we get time so maza i the whole idea of de- delivering this lecture is not just to focus on 1.6 but enable you to understand that review literature will today help you to develop your first chapter in a very very strong hold let's try to look at this so first how to do a review literature so uh, just to be everybody on the same screen of the class upon uh, fakta first now we are going to concentrate only on 1.6 that is review literature which is a part of your chapter 1 so when you read an article when you read an article or tumhi ek article is vachala getla so first and foremost thing you have to have follow first three steps define and refine your topic define and refine your topic okay uh everybody has got their research topics or still anybody is thinking of research topic i repeat again everybody has got their... no sir we got the topic research topic you have got the topic okay so yes, can anybody tell me uh, anybody can tell me what is the topic of their research just to help me out any one student uh, can sir, tell me what yes is... sir ha uh, sir my name is uh, sea water intrusion like the broad topic is sea water intrusion uh, in where coastal areas or in which uh, areas sir, yes sir coastal coastal area of south goa sir south goa i am in south goa what's your name please yes sir so hitesh so desai okay ritesh you are there okay so you know me yes. okay so very yes. clearly now let's take ritesh uh, topic so he is talking about salt water intrusion then my first question was whether it is coastal area or whether it's inland areas so very clearly now he has refined his topic he has defined me the topic but i have refined his topic okay now you understood the difference between define and refine so hitesh will only do a review of literature only on salt water intrusion in the coastal areas okay next hitesh uh, is it only tourism or any other factors uh, sir no tourism is one of the factors sir but uh, the other one was this uh, one sir uh, uh, जो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ द रॉक्स आर यू टेकिंग पॉपुलेशन एज योर फैक्टर पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एंड प्रेशर ऑन लैंड टूरिज्म लोकल पॉपुलेशन ऑल्सो माइट स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग ना येस सर सो नाउ सी हियर वी हैव नाउ स्ट्राइट रिफाइनिंग हिस्स टॉपिक इफ यू आर नॉट वेरी clear about refinement of your topic to me you will not do review of literature manje very simple to tell you you will look in a very narrow way not in a multi dimensional way so the whole idea is to refine your topic very very clear use keywords very very clearly and then only start finding out the uh, relevant research papers that's very very important thing so this is i am actually telling you before you actually uh, start doing review literature so before step number 1 is that so i am teaching you what before you start review doing review literature first and foremost define and refine is a very important thing in your topic otherwise you will get into a very narrow thing and then question will that why have you not looked at this component and that component okay so that is very very clear so just to refine ki apan when we are talking now about ritesh ritesh has uh, defined me the topic i have helped him to refine it by saying okay you are doing at coastal areas then you are finding out fact Does that affect uh, salt water intrusion in coastal areas? So one talk is talk about a physical component, the geo uh, f- uh, physical aspect uh, that is rock structure and many other things. But I am saying let's go further. The pressure on the land, change in the land use, land cover, tourism, uh, carrying capacity, and many other things. Okay, then you should be able to you know then start integrating in your writing. So before that, don't do this. Me, I will give a very simple example. many a times lot of students you know just you know uh, want to do review of literature so they any topic a keyword vaparla then they uh, start doing review of literature that's not the correct word keywords will help you definitely but you have to look at what is what is your clear cut topic so first 
refine and define. Then second thing, find and evaluate. So you have to evaluate whether this research paper is good or not. I will give a very simple example. Um, uh, last week, about uh, 50 uh, titles were brought by my student as he was doing review of literature. And you'll be surprised that I only finalized about 18 research papers out of that. The reason was that that student had searched by using a search engine, the keywords and brought that 50 articles for me. Then I said, okay, let me find out, evaluate, and then see whether it really gives the information. And then you start integrating in your writing. Now, how to do, do writing is the second step. Okay, so what is the first step before you actually do uh, the uh, review of literature? What is the first step you need to do? Yes, Rita. Define what? and refine the topic. Correct. Fantastic. Sir, and secondly, yes, sir. At, you might choose the articles, but you have to filter. Because you want to have not the chapati, but you only want to have the chai. So same thing is that you need to really uh, screen the research articles and then start actually doing the review of literature. Okay, so that's very clear. Now let's start doing review of literature. So here, a very simple example. My student had brought this, all these type of problems, like problems of aged people in India, uh, social issues of senior citizens, children's migration is effect, uh, physical and mental health, migration and care of old people, neglect of senior citizens in societal impact. And my topic of research, project it is about migration and impact on old people. So you will see problems of aged people in India is not my topic, which I need to look at. But definitely article number seven, Jalila, emigration and care of older people is a topic which I will look at. And I'll say, okay, seven article, I, I can do a review of article. That's very, very clear. Or article number 11, diaspora and elderly people. That's very, very clear. That is so. So here, Ghost Manji, you should be able to systematically uh, download all the articles and then screen which are good for your review of articles. Okay, that's very, very clear. Okay, now how do you start uh, the process. So, have you chosen the correct articles? The answer is yes. At assumption, Korea, because we are not physically there. Otherwise, I could have said whether you have chosen the correct. So, once you choose and once you read, you have to find out what are the major themes of that research paper, whether it is argumentative, whether it is uh, talking about theories, whether it is talking about methodologies, whether it is talking about approaches, whether it is talking about findings. Okay. So very clearly, upon we have to be very, very theme-based type of review of literature. Karala Something very new. A lot of people will only say, okay, you do general review of literature. I am saying no. Whether you want to do your methodology, you should be able to do a methodology review of literature. That's why I said, I am now talking about new ways of doing review of literature. You can even talk about approaches. In geography, we, we very, very less... Uh, talk about models in geography when we are doing uh, literature, uh, we are doing uh, either review of literature or even writing chapters. But model is so important part of it. Okay, so that is very important thing. Tisri ghost, which I talked to you about that, which was also talked in the definition of review of literature, yeah. that you should be able to contrast and critic. You should be able to put an argument, you should be able to put a debate. And Apante, very, very clearly, we will do that. Uh, when we are going to take one or two examples. And lastly, connect the literature to your own area of research and investigation. Okay. Anybody in this class, the upper hand to C4, site, sorry, site manje to find out, compare, contrast, and connect. Here, four C's I have. Can anybody tell me what is connect to the literature? What do you mean by connect to the literature of your own area of research? Anybody? Is it relevant, sir? Correct. One, one answer is correct. Relevant. Any other answer? Okay. I will give an example. Uh, agar somebody is doing uh, uh, tourism in uh, uh, Malwan. Okay. Konkan Malwan, Maharashtra Madhi. And you have found out Savansar's one paper on Goa's tourism. Okay. Uh, you do a review of literature. Savant has worked on socio-cultural tourism and many other things. Okay. Uh, how will you connect with Malwan's tourism? Or Konkan's tourism? How will you connect this? Because they are coastal areas. 
fantastic one coastal area second thing very very clearly tourism is a common activity and only one thing you can find out the same pattern of tourism in konkan uh, maharashtra or you may not have that same pattern so you should be able to make a statement like this saying that yes uh, savant has been able to uh, looked at the socio cultural impacts and therefore this research also tries to look at the socio cultural impact though uh, goa has a different cultural background as compared to konkan maharashtra now this is where you are now connecting your review of literature with savant's review uh, research paper now you got the point have you understood or not yes sir yes sir okay kunal a prashna hai chaur sir please ask me because then we'll go a little for fast as anybody has a issue on this do you all understand that you choose the correct article let's go back to this you choose the correct article then you very clearly uh, start looking at what uh, the paper focuses on arguments or theories then you will able to make your own uh, gaps what is the, you or put a debate and then you compare with your own part of it is this clear okay that's very nice uh, excuse me sir yes yes, yes. Uh, i have a question uh, sir if yes, we sir. are working in human geography and uh, most of the time we uh, do not get get the core geographical literature um, sometimes we get the literature from sociology background or anthropological background or cultural studies okay Okay, so very nice. It somehow it it somehow shapes our geographical study uh, to towards the socialistic or cultural aspect more often to the that part rather than geography itself. So how we yeah. can limit that impact to, to keep our study in geographical or and more geographical rather than okay, very study. nice, very nice, very nice question. First and foremost, let me tell you, uh, our research should become an interdisciplinary ap- uh, approach. so please all of us remember that if we want to become a very good geographers we should have first and foremost an interdisciplinary approach ek dusri host manje very clearly we have to look at whether this component is applicable to us or not applicable so uh, me i have a very simple formula which i will share with you i believe in something called 60 40 uh, formula ha huh? that's my formula manje 60% should be something of geographical uh, contact on uh, content only and maybe i will take 40% from other disciplines i will give an example uh, a, a few months back one of my student was doing on uh, migration and impact on women a uh, impact on women so what we were used was that the impact of women psychological impact now geography is not talking about psychological impact geography only talks about special moments not part of it so what we did was that we approached the psychological de- uh, department and they gave us a scale of uh, life satisfaction amongst the women and the uh, psychological pressure that we go and we used a model called uh, rai and homes model so it's very important and it was well appreciated by the external examiner because he said that yes you are looking beyond geography now the answer to your question is that how much you should keep i would just say my formula is 60 40 60 geography 40 is other disciplines that is what i keep it yeah anybody else a question anybody else a question okay i Every, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Because you keep quiet, I get a little afraid that maybe you don't understand what I'm saying or not saying the right thing. Okay, uh, so keep speaking. It's very nice. Okay, so for you students, what I have done is that I have tried to create a template. Okay, I have shared this template with the organizer also, but you can write it down. First and foremost, it's a good way of doing this. First, what is the research article? So you give a proper APA format of article very clearly. Okay, is this clear? or what to formulate a uh, form uh, uh, citation way you are doing the referencing style you can use this second what is the problem that has been addressed uh, uh, by the uh, researcher of the research article that you have done okay then very clearly uh, what research contribution that is what is that whether it has uh, contributed to understand the like let us take ritesh example whether it is contributed to understand that tourism impacts uh, water intrusion so that is the research contribution then the aim and objective of that research paper and uh, reasons for undertaking the research with focus on what whether it is worth taking or not now here you should be able to 
uh, see whether this is a descriptive type of research paper, whether it's analytical type of research paper, whether it's action based type of research paper. So you should be able to rationalize this particular component. So very clearly, some things you have to start looking at, some things the research paper will give. Like for example, research contribution, you have to look at. Uh, rationally, you should be able to look at. And then, uh, what are the limitations and weaknesses? For example, if human geography, one of the important things which we always talk about is the sample size. Many a times, people will just take 20, 60 samples. And then we say, okay, the one of the major, major weakness of the research paper has been the um, uh, very clearly about very clearly about the sample size chosen. If you're taking less sample, you are testing and many other things will part of it. And then you see the experimental setup been done by that researcher, the findings and where the research paper could have uh, improved or where there is a uh, part where a researcher can do a future direction. Okay. Has everybody understood? Yes, sir. Yes, Hello. Sir. Yes. yes. So the sir. basically... I am trying to tell you, if you are doing a review of literature using that C4 method, you should know how to do a review of literature. So this is a good way of having a template. And if you can do a research paper, one, two, three, four template for this, it's very nice. There are, these are the, so on one page, you can do a template uh, on a, your, uh, on your uh, computer itself. And then you will be able to uh, know, uh, later on organize the way you want to. Organization up and ko, but this is the way it will give you a certain direction. Okay, so that is what you will do. Now, my question to this: uh, where in this research paper will you find the research gaps? In this template, where which component or which shows research gap? Limitations and weaknesses. Limitations okay, that is uh, areas of okay, improvement. Have, yeah, limitations. I think a very clear cut area of improvement is something talking about the future direction is something about research gap. So you could always put, connect limitations with your area of improvement because once you know your weaknesses, you know how to do the improvements part of it. Okay, so very good research part of it. Okay, uh, where will you get your research methodology? I repeat again, after doing this type of template for review of literature, where will you get your research methodology? Experimental setup. Fantastic. You will get your experimental setup, a very good way of part of it. Okay. Where will you get able to compare your findings with this research paper? In your findings and conclusion, you can say, okay, Goa model of tourism is different yeah. than Malwan's um, model of tourism. Very clearly. So you will be able to do the findings and part of it. Okay. So I'm sure this template, you can write it down or uh, it will be shared by the um, uh, organizers. Okay. So very clearly, Jenna, when we write a review of literature based on the template that you have, based on the template that you have, okay. So you will be able to now write introduction, body and conclusion. So Review of literature of 1.6. I repeat again, I'm only talking about 1.6 now. I'm not talking about any other thing. So what is that introduction? What is the body? The body is uh, you have to first find out, highlight the methodology and uh, maybe uh, the argument that you have. Then what have been the research um, major findings that you have? And then what uh, could be the research gaps? That's what you talk about in the discussion part and summarize what are the new things that could be uh, reated or you can say, okay, I've argued on certain things on basis of the uh, discussion or body, whatever you can use the word body or discussion. Okay. Now, my first question to you is that uh, in review of literature, how much big should be your review of literature? This is a very common question asked by every time to me by after I finish the session. So I will answer this question right now. How big should be your review of literature? Okay, I will ask you questions. 200 words, 350 words, 150 words. Uh, cannot say. 200 words. Okay, anybody else? 
cannot say cannot say. cannot say okay why did you say cannot say i don't know whether it is correct or wrong answer but we'll try to answer this why you say that cannot say um if the topic has been covered previously uh on a correct. broader basis many researchers have gone through it so you will have to go through correct. it and each one might have something unique which you might need to include so that the word limit might not be appropriate for that correct topic. fantastic it can be just one line by saying that uh, this research is very similar to that other person's research okay and that you said so it is a longitudinal research which has been carried over for a long period of time and if there are same observations you can always make a comment critical comment by saying that all the researches have the same observations and that is how you do a model uh, testing okay or in this others you can say um, uh, clifford's argument is different than stanford's okay or john has a different argument as compared to savant so that is how you can then uh, play with it that's the way it is okay so please remember review of literature has nothing called as very formal structure it's the way you start using a language and putting it in the form of a text that's very very important thing which you need to understand okay but very important thing at your back of your mind you should always remember this components which you have already made as a part of it so very simple example we have learned three steps of review of literature i repeat again so i just to finish this component so we have learned three steps of review literature first you have to first be very clear about your topic and refine you put it very clear so search that is the first and foremost thing second thing very clearly we learned that for review of literature you should be able to follow c4 method cite compare contrast and connect with your literature and fourth thing prepare this template and then start writing in the form of introduction discussion and the conclusion uh it can be 80 words it can be only about 10 lines or it can be one line also not to worry about how to write a part of it okay so very clearly has everybody understood this component yes sir. yes sir yes, sir. yes sir. okay so very clearly upon i will show you uh, some uh, samples of this now don't worry about that but very clearly we have learned understood how to do a review of literature okay so step number 1 you will first download articles and then filter it second thing you will follow the c4 method and then put that c4 method in your template and then use this uh, template to write your review of literature okay so first and foremost when you have finished review of literature by the way a question tumhala vicharto how many articles should you review for writing your phd thesis three four yeah anybody i repeat the question how many articles should you review for your phd thesis as much as we can no no there is something as many as needed minimum bolo minimum bolo na let's not talk about as much you can uh, as many articles we will read it will be helpful for Yeah, that's all good words good words ma'am good words ma'am but i said minimum 50 minimum minimum uh, around 50. minimum 50 is too less ma'am very too less in a research paper how many articles do you give references 100 no 100 is too much for your research paper research paper ke liye kitne aap uh, references dete ho 30 to 40 40 50 only yeah minimum nowadays they say you should go 20 plus and you can go huh. up to 35 so understanding that concept you are for your thesis ke liye kitna review karna chahiye tumne minimum 150 to 100 bahut to hai mujhe pata hai ha somebody use this word 150 good minimum uh-huh. 150 to hona chahiye ye main batata hu as a research guide i don't know how your teachers will review that but then it makes a very solid base for your research particle okay very good let's go that's a different topic now let's try so first type of review of literature is called a topical order okay you can write your review of literature in a form of topical the word topical means topic wise okay that is what is called tropical uh, part of it so for example ritesh is going to do a review of literature he can talk about uh, salt water intrusion and lithology so one uh, review of literature or topical ho gaya second he can take about 
tourism and salt water intrusion uh, that can be topical so you uh, you compartmental wise your topics and then you do start doing review of literature and writing your review literature. that is called a topical order of review of literature okay the second is chronological order chronological order means date historically so people used to do very clearly pehle 1964 mein kya hua fir baad mein 74 mein kaisa change hua now this is good if your topic is very very narrow minded it is very compartmental and you do not have lot of diversification okay it's a very longitudinal type of research hoga if it is a longitudinal type of research then i would definitely say please do chronological order type of research then problem cause solution order where you are talking about problems like for example impact of tourism on the local community now that is something called problem cause and solution type of research so part of it okay so these are the three types there are many more but i would just want to start with topical chronological and problem okay a small little work for you people i have written three uh, questions research on urbanization education empowerment impact of covid on families issues and challenges okay which type of review of literature will come tell me so could you please repeat Read. i repeat again on your uh, slide can you see on the on your uh, right side okay which is little in peach color okay i have written three topics research on urbanization education and empowerment impact of covid on families issues and challenges now you have to tell me which type of review of literature uh will be applicable for these three topics take your time for first worry. one yes. research on urbanization i think topical order should uh, suit the best okay okay for uh, education and empowerment uh, we can take chronological order so as to understand the chronology what was the age of education age of marriage and for impact of, of covid on families issues and challenges we can take problem and cause solution because covid was a problem and we are trying to find a solution to it okay fantastic anybody else wants to comment on this okay hello uh, uh, yes anybody wants to speak bolo bolo uh, yeah sir piyush here yeah. uh, uh, piyush please yeah uh, yeah uh, on the first topic research on urbanization so the chronological order will be very much suitable because the urbanization is a process okay so that's why i think it's a chronological order okay yeah yeah anybody else wants to comment let me tell you if it could have been a physical class there could have been good interactions and uh, you know i could have really debated on this but anyway let's online also we can do that part okay uh anybody else wants to comment so my answer to this is the first research on urbanization should be very good topical okay uh, piyush i will put an argument for you for the reason is that uh, urbanization ka abhi if we are going to impact of urbanization on and uh, growth of urbanization now growth of urbanization is something which we will talk about uh, maybe maharashtra urbanization you will take in what was in 1940 50 60 that is something which is a part of your um uh, research work that will go on but when we are talking about uh, you know uh, impacts of tourism or sorry impact of urbanization and what are the issues and challenges which will also talk as a topical part of it uh, the first uh, response was correct second is definitely it can be chronological uh, and the third thing of course uh, covid and impact now i would also say that um, education and empowerment can also become a topical order why i am telling you because if you look here education and age of marriage education and employability okay once you start uh, interconnecting it it can also go to a cause a uh, uh, solution part of it because we feel that yes uh, if there was no education age of marriage was very low and that could lead to early marriages and that lead to increase in family uh, in uh, increase in uh, family size so you could see that very clearly so don't be under the impression that yes mereko isi structure mein bithana hai 
एब्सोल्यूटली फ्लेक्सिबल होता है इट इज बैक ऑफ योर माइंड दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके मैं ऐसे भी ऑर्गेनाइज कर सकता हूँ मैं वैसे भी ऑर्गेनाइज कर सकता हूँ द वेरी फैक्ट दैट यू विल बी एबल टू पुट योर वैलिडेशन द वेरी फैक्ट दैट यू विल बी एबल टू पुट एन आर्ग्यूमेंट कर मैंने इस तरह से रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर किया कोई दिक्कत नहीं है इट्स जस्ट अ गिमिक फॉर यू पीपल पार्ट ऑफ इट ओके द अदर पार्ट इज वेरी क्लियर जनरल टू स्पेसिफिक ऑर्डर which is called a funnel approach and very specifically very ask you ask me i like this type of approach manje first uh, take a global view and then come to a uh, localized view and then specific to general or general to specific okay that's also uh, very very clearly a part of it so this is something uh, the types of uh, uh, review of literatures in which you will put your review of literature so you can put in topical basis you can put chronological order problem solution basis general to specific specific to general okay there is something more now modern people are talking about argumentative review historical review which is chronological methodological review and interactive uh, integrative type of uh, part of it integrative is where secondary data has developed a new perspective and framework on your topic okay i will not emphasize a lot on this type of uh, uh, uh review of literature now i will come back to this aspect of uh review of literature later on uh when we will take some case studies in understanding this type of uh, part of it okay so very clearly now let's take a sample one take a two minute everybody should read and i'm going to ask questions on this okay for the sake of all the students i will read tourism is one of the major forces in land use landscape changes in mediterranean coast the study indicated that 816 hectares of agricultural land and 457 hectares of coastal forest cover was transformed into tourism based establishments like hotels buildings etc further the coastal forest degradation was higher at the beginning of the tourism development but now the trend is static however change in land agricultural land is expected in coming years this is indicating that tourism is bringing in land use change okay my first question uh to a scale of 5 marks or should i keep it 10 marks out of 10 how much will you give for this review of literature the question is that out of 10 marks how many marks will you give this for review of literature understanding what i said cite contrast and other things yes anybody piyush how much will you give uh yes sir I, actually i am like critically going through it that's okay. why i needing Yes, yes Piyush. How many marks? Uh, actually, out of ten, uh, I would like to give five only. Five. Okay. Anybody yeah. else? Six. Six. Eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. fantastic now you do you all of you have a notebook uh, seven very good don't worry uh, it's good relative i like that so it is 5 to 8 marks very clearly okay everybody has a notebook and a pen 
Yes, yes, everybody has a notebook. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So you yes, will sir. now give one one mark for everything that I keep on questioning, huh? Is there an introduction? No. Piyush, uh, is there an introduction? Uh, no, sir. No. Uh, Hitesh, is there an introduction? No, but does it indicate what type of a topic is this? So the first line is somehow giving an idea about what the person is going to talk about. Fantastic. So, do you require every time an introduction? No, because if your topic is on tourism itself, but does it tell uh, tourism has got relationship with what? No, the topic for the over here they haven't mentioned. Yes, it gives no. It says no. Tourism is one of the major okay, pieces of land. Of land yes. Does it give which area is it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, very good. Very good, very good. So, in this case, is the objective given in this or it is understood what is the objective? Yes, sir. Uh, what is the objective? What is the objective? To find the impact of tourism on change in... Uh, Forest fantastic, cover and fantastic, fantastic. So first line may uh, has there been uh, what are the research outcomes been given here? Uh, they have it mentioned that yes, there is change. Yes, sir. Yes, it has been quantified, it has been quantified and what has the impact and very clearly it has been given everything. And it does it uh, talk and uh, in terms of what will happen in future also? Yes. 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 But what is lacking in this research paper? Yes, then? What is lacking in this review of literature? Then? Which will give me? I I could have given them about. Uh, I will tell you very clearly. I could have given this uh, student a six marks, a marks. I could have mm -hmm. cut down four marks for some things. Okay, tell me what is that? I think the research methods that has been used. Fantastic. For particular research. There is no whether that person has done uh, used yeah. remote sensing. Primary or GIS. secondary data is used. It fantastic, is not Fantastic. Fantastic. And what is the statistical tool they have used this? Yes, very yes. clearly not very, very clearly then. And anything more it is not given. Tell me. Me, Atamamala, I am teaching you how to do critical thinking. And logical thinking. That is what I am emphasizing on review of literature today. Argumentative or the critic is not mentioned or the research gap is not mentioned. Research gap you have to find out. You have to find out. Not that a research article will give. So research gap is given. Okay. What a, What is a critical point that is not given over here? Sir, I think the total area is not provided. Map which is identified the area. Oh. Ma'am, we are not doing a research paper, but we are writing and uh, review of literature. So, ma'am, and hello. Yes. Uh, sir, actually, the total area of that particular study is not given. Fantastic. So, it's just I saying over 816 hectares of agricultural land and 457 hectares of coastal forest cover. I will tell you what are the drawbacks of this research article. First, there is no... I you know total area. Second thing, the percentage of change because people are not interested in numbers. People are interested in percentage change. And very important thing between what period to what period. We don't know the period, whether it is in 2015 or 2024 or which was in 1990. We are not knowing this. Got the point? Agar, we could have said, yes, between 1990 to 2020, there has been change taken place. Then it has got some validation. Otherwise, this article has no validation very clearly. So, my comments, approach, factor for change, policies. But it could be then connecting with your article by saying that, yes, this similar study can be looked for Goa's coastal tourism. So, now... Uh, it is now you are connecting with your research. Okay, so that is how very, very clearly. Okay, fantastic. Let's go to the next. This is another review of literature. 
there is nothing gap in this you need not find out anything but this is something called a chronological order type of review of literature now my question is that will you use this for your phd thesis or not have a look i will tell you this is uh, one of my research papers which i i have told you the answer of course and now i cannot answer but anyways me tumhala sangto parat uh this is something which uh, i published one of my research where i was talking about uh, changing and teaching pedagogies okay so very clearly you could see that uh, you know uh, uh, there is how people have come out with different types of uh, you know uh, you know education pedagogies and you will be surprised that aaj india madhi we are talking about uh, national education policy and outcome based education but it was initiated somewhere in 1996 so it is almost we are after 25 years we are implementing something called as a uh, you know outcome based education in india okay so that's very uh, different thing which i was wanted to so this is a chronological but you will see that how changes have taken place in education which now talks about technology based education now so we are talking about now onwards edu education uh, based technology and we are using this so this is okay so my question is uh, will you use this for your research uh, thesis so this table might give an idea about uh, the papers that we can refer but only this much information will not be sufficient because it is just giving the topics covered by different uh, scholars hmm. uh, while me uh, working on my topic i would uh, like to have the uh, conclusions findings and that will be more of a part of my literature review okay so where will you fit this supposing i say i want this in your research thesis where will you put this uh change over the pedagogy then uh, i would uh, talk about various research work uh, was done uh okay. from 1990 to 2019 various research papers uh, talked about these these topics and mm. then in bracket this will be mentioned okay so i would just say that this could be a very good uh, component of uh, what you call as conceptual framework so which is your 1.1 you can actually give how changes have taken place because mm -hmm. uh very clearly you will talk about the various ways in uh, the pedagogy of teaching has changed and today we are more technology enabled very good okay now third sample please read and again you have to comment you read this uh can you tell me what is the major theme of this research uh guru urbanization pardon repeat yeah Continue. urbanization and development correct uh what is the best A line that you liked in this re this review of literature. What was lost okay. was the heritage. On the contrary, so is this a, a comment by the researcher or by the uh, written in the paper? Comment. Fantastic. so this is what is called as the critical part of it so when you critically look at an article and then you look at and then you make a statement so development has definitely taken place there has been lot of scope for developers and many other things but ultimately heritage has been lost 
So the argument that you put is that yes, when you do development, we need to take care of the heritage. And protection of heritage becomes a critical point in the process of development. Is this understood or not? Okay, let's go further. Okay. So I have talked about heritage. Now I'm again continuing with heritage. Okay, my question is very clear. Uh, both these articles talk about what? Urban area, urban trust. Uh, only urban area or any other thing? Development. Development and archaeological sites or heritage sites. Ah, now, your specific. Yes. So my question is that uh, what type of um, review of literature is this? Argumentative. It is, I've written here argumentative because very, very clearly one side you are talking about, talking about global markets and everything. And the other side you are talking about, you know, uh, impact on archaeological aspects. And then you put up a final light by saying that you can experience significant archaeological sites getting uh, impacted because of tourism. So you are very clear about that part of it. Okay. Now, very clearly, when you write a ray of literature, this is what you put across. So you should be able to merge two research articles and make into a very good one paragraph and then put up your comments. The whole idea what I was trying is that you can very clearly, most of the thesis that I get very clearly, they write one uh, uh, review of literature, uh, one paragraph, then second paragraph. No, you could put up two articles, put an argument of this and make a concluding remark. And that is how you can put it across. Okay. Is this clear? Okay. So learning lessons, a researcher, uh, everybody has understood what I'm trying to explain you. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yeah. yes. What the very fact is that very clearly, uh, you should be able to make a very clear thing. Now, is this what type of for brief literature, the answer to this is the topical type. Because you're only talking about heritage in this coin. Also, is the heritage. So we are looking at how urbanization is impacting uh, the heritage part of it. Okay. Now, first, a researcher has laid down the review as per the objectives, categorized into in three parts. What type of review literature is this? A researcher has laid down review as per his objectives and he has categorized into three parts. What type of review of literature is this? Topical. Very good. Topical. Very good. It is topical. Very correct. Topical. What I'm just trying to tell you is that you objective wise to review of literature. Second, I undertake review of literature first. I take global reviews, national reviews. And then local review. What type of uh, literature review is this? Problem called solution. No, there is no problem put here. No, it is chronology. No. Label wise, I'll say means global, national. I'm not getting a word for that. Huh. Order, uh, order something. Uh, orderal or from general to specific. Ah, uh, sorry. Yes, yes. Huh. It is general to general specific. specific. Okay. Last. In the field of tourism, being multifaceted, the theories are multidisciplinary. A few important concepts of field of tourism were produced by scholars, including tourism systems, Lepere in 1979, tourism typology in 1974, Cohen in 1972, Smith, and Butler's life cycle in 1980. Will you consider this as review of literature or not? Yeah. 
I repeat my question. Yes. Will you consider this as a review of literature or not? Yes. Yes. Yes, possibly. Yes, possibly. Uh, what could we add to this? Okay. Or the concept which have been mentioned. Correct. Very good. Even you should be able to make one one line at least. What does Butler say? of okay. tourism what does tourism typology means and then you should be able to say whether what model can be applied for your research that is how how are you have looked into your research by applying this models very good so very clearly okay so we have understood uh, a very important component how to present your review of literature so first part was why review of literature is to be done second part how do you do review of literature the third part of the lecture was how a uh, review of literature has to be presented and what are different types so it's uh, now the last part of the uh, lecture that i'm going to move on okay so uh, this is just a, a feedback to you manje apan review of literature ke liye has the author clearly defined the problem then uh, has the uh, author showed biasness or not was the study good his tumche sathi question said that you can uh, go through this okay so i will go back again सो आपण फक्त वन पॉइंट सिक्स ला बघितलं होतं की येस रिव्ह ऑफ लिटरेचर विल हेल्प अस टू राईट युअर वन कम्पोनंट ऑफ युअर रिसर्च वर्क दॅट इज रिव्ह ऑफ लिटरेचर बट टुडे आय एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू व्हेरी क्लिअरली यू कॅन यूज इट इन टू मेनी मेनी कम्पोनंट्स इफ यु आर डुईंग रिव्ह ऑफ लिटरेचर आय पुट यू युअर कॉन्सेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क स्ट्रीमलाईन ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह डेटा बेस अँड इन टेक सायटेशन अँड मेथॉडॉलॉजी व्हेरी क्लिअरली ओके नाव so let's get your uh, basic objective of review of literature is to get very clear aplyala clarity yala pahije and that's why uh, when i said you have to very clearly refine and define and that is what is cause you have to uh, be very focused and once you do the focus validation so i think both top, both the definitions and both the uh, com, uh, definition of focus and validation tumhala kalala hai focus is to refine your research topic and your objectives validation means how many people have done research in your area and then you will be able to get a confidence okay so i will now start working on this what i am going to talk about so first point which i will take is that how review of literature will help you in conceptual framework okay now what is conceptual framework it is the first part of the chapter it gives you a, uh, a framework म्हणजे आपण डेफिनेशन म्हणतो और कॉन्सेप्ट म्हणतो और आय आय लाईक दिस वर्ड व्हेरी क्लिअर कॉन्सेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क आणि आपण हाऊ द स्टडी इज व्हेरी रेलिव्हेंट आणि फ्रॉम हिस्टॉरिकल टू द प्रेझेंट सो हिस्टॉरिकल टू प्रेझेंट आणि दॅट्स वाय आय सेड की वेन यू आर एबल टू डू दिस टाईप ऑफ रिव्ह लिटरेचर इट विल हेल्प यू टू डू अ बेटर कॉन्सेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क सो व्हेरी क्लिअरली हे कॉन्सेप्चुअल फ्रेमवर्क वॉज ऑल्सो अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट वे इन विच यू विल एबल टू डू ओके लेट्स नाव गेट बॅक टू दिस ओके so first and foremost thing uh, i will not uh, take this uh, for you okay let's take example after closure of mining in 2012 it has been clearly identified the loss of uh, natural vegetation and agricultural land in some patches of reclamation of forest and scrub land indicative revival of natural ecosystem which may take few more years for recovery savant nn 2019 okay my first question to all the research scholars where where is the in text citation where is the reference uh, the last one it, bottom yeah. one uh, the bottom one is the reference and the bracket thing is the in text citation citation fantastic uh, why do you need to do uh, in text citation uh to validate whatever you are mentioning how yes, will a person know it is not authentic. your thoughts huh. it has been already researched and put across by somebody first second thing apan ata navin shabd vaprayla laglo plagiarism and academic integrity so you need to acknowledge who has done this particular part of it okay so when you are writing your first chapter and when you doing a conceptual framework you need to put in lot of in text citations so that you create a good uh, 
the conceptual framework now uh if you read this uh what do you understand you understand very clearly ki goa madhi mining hoti and because of mining there used to be an impact of a loss of vegetation and agricultural land and what happened was that in 2012 madhi mining stopped zali and because of which now there is a revival of the natural forest okay so this is one paragraph you have already written and kept somewhere you have written and kept when you were writing your research paper then you read another article of kanekar by 2016 and he says repeatedly attempts were made to stop the illegal mining started in 2008 it was destroyed the water agriculture and forest resources of the village kanekar 2016 so you have got now goa varti mining varti kanekar cha article and savan cha article okay my first question to you part of it uh if you want to put in a paragraph of your first uh, chapter writing ah uh, to very very clearly uh, uh which will you put first kanekars or savans in your kanekar 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 and then you will put savan correct ah uh, right okay very correct so very clearly you see here very clearly repeatedly attempts to stop illegal mining started in 2008 as it destroyed water and agriculture then but mining continued until shah commission came in 2000 after years of some patches of reclamation of forest and uh, shrub land uh, natural ecosystems will take few more years so what has savant done or uh, anybody has done first thing you have put an in text citation very clearly used here second thing paraphrasing kelala and the third thing synthesizing i think you need to learn these three words in text everybody understanding paraphrasing manje putting in correct word in the context in the context ani synthesizing manje make it continuously flow otherwise your introduction of your first chapter will be in patches and you will not have a continuity so i always like me tumhala saitla from a general to specific so very clearly the mining and goa could be one component but illegal mining and then forest and scrubland could be the specific thing we should talk about so very clearly apan very very clearly sequencing karala sikal je point karabe evidences dal pa and explain karala pa je so you have given evidences by putting in text citation of saman then kanekar and then explain this particular whole phenomena so that is something so it helps you so review of literature will also help you to write your introductory part very clearly okay the second part when you are writing a research paper uh, doing review of literature and i i tell all my research students to do this and i personally advise you tumi saglani excel sheet varti you should be able to do details of the journal write down the objectives database methodology outcomes and observations and comments that is something which we talk about your critical comments that is what is your critical comments what do you feel what your research gaps and everything okay does all this gives in a research paper say yes or no no yes no sir who said no me sorry sir but including everything might be uh, too bulky only specifics uh, no 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 i am saying no no no, no no please try to understand when i saying does a research paper have all this components ha huh, ha huh. yes yes okay yes ma tumi objective kiti tujhe the objectives you will be now what you are doing you are going to refine your topic if you refine your topic you refine your database also methodology and outcome also and part of it okay now supposing let us take an anybody wants to give an example of a research topic please talk anybody other than hitesh and piyush anybody else uh, change in climate and its impact on agriculture okay very nice so you will uh, take a research paper on uh, microclimate change and impact on maybe paddy cultivation or you are doing specific crops or just taking general agriculture uh rainfed and agri uh, rainfed and uh, oh, rainfed uh, agri which part of area in dratpur uh, area or uh, dratpur areas or konkan uh we have taken both as such but specifically we talk about uh, semi arid dratpur okay so the objective here is very clear 
you will take a research paper which will say objective of impact of climate change on drought prone areas of xyz region correct hmm. and that will be that paper will have a database yes it could be is it it may be remote sense based data or it could be uh, farmers perception or it could be a climatic data correct yes sir and they must have used the methodology and then you have got some results correct yes sir yes sir now tell me can you use this as a very important component to do your research yes because now your validation is very clear because you are already getting that somebody has already worked on this topic that person must have worked somewhere else maybe for karnataka now you are doing it for maharashtra yes. so this is the way review of literature has to be looked it has not to be looked only from 1.6 in your research uh, research thesis but you could if you make this you can say okay uh, shah um amit dhorde many have used this so i can or very wisely use this methodology because it's been used so i am going to teach you that it becomes a very clear so now look here urban heritage and conservation and rapid urbanization hche two objectives hote identifying mapping of city heritage and preserving local identity okay so my only was objective i will not work on other objective i will only work on identifying mapping of uh, cities heritage because i am a geographer i am not more interested in historical research though it is a historical paper so i will say okay the database is focus group discussion semi structure and methodology likert scale method and interpretation of uh, photos and use of gis so if i am going to do heritage of goa and rapid urbanization in panjim city can i use this methods i repeat again supposing upon same research karaycha urban heritage and conservation in pune city can i use this objectives and methods yes very good mm -hmm. yes you can use this very very clearly and you will be able to comment how pune is better or how pune is bad as compared to surat in terms of heritage management so you will get a very good contrary or contemporary research work done because you are now comparing pune with surat pune with panjim and that is how your review literature will be a very great approach part of it okay very nice apart from that when you are writing your methodology here baga look at this this is something which is now the way it is written to answer the given research question qualitative methods most be most appropriate literature related to topic suggest qualitative methods and so many people have used qualitative methods for doing a particular objective now my question is that if you cite so many index citations will there be a question on your research methodology or people will say yes it is acceptable they will accept it because ni parat prashna vichar ha why uh because the work has been done and it has been published it has been accepted by various uh, journal uh, editors and those means it has already been evaluated and then the similar correct. thing you Fantastic. have correct okay. correct so very good the very word is that your validation need not be worried because the fact is that you have cited so many researchers who have used this type of method uh, and you are very safe to use this method so i always say geographers now have to understand review literature not on the context of just writing it in the form of your thesis but use it for your introduction use for your methodology also so you understand now review of literature is a wider scope as compared to what we are trying to and the more you keep our giving your citations like this it becomes more and more stronger it is very simple point say that i say has no validation in research when you i and you say it does not have but when we all say then it is has got validation similarly when i take a feedback of my lecture if one pu says savan sir your lecture is very good because pu knows me it's got no validation but if 75% of the class says it was a good lecture it is validated so that is how a validation plays a very very important role and you can do your validation of your research only by giving 
in text citations obviously on methodological and that's why i said methodological review of literature also is very important uh, from your review. so don't look at all research papers only the context of topic but it could be in a methodological approach also okay so very very clearly we have understood this so uh, this is your uh, very clearly you understood now that search sort select summarize and synthesize so this is what is very clearly you have understood when you talk about the review of literature component okay now uh, you have lot of online uh, softwares also nowadays ai tools also have come up to enable you to help you out to uh, do review of literature uh i just want to ask you the review should be thematic in nature based on main themes follow logical progression and various arguments should be substantiated from the literature and added to the acceptable academic referencing style so my conclusion is that up jama whenever we do review of literature it should stick up to your main theme it should not get Uh, just for the sake of review of literature it should be related to your topic so please remember that word it has to be refined once very very clearly you have to use a very logical progression where it has been accepted in a academic uh, forum that's very very clearly okay uh, so uh, just to come back and understand the whole aspect okay i will stop uh, presenting uh so i had to yes. doubt can i just no no i am giving you time that's why i finished i had a plan for a 545 i will just do a conclusion then we will have a lot of uh, discussions and many other things not to worry about that okay i am just trying to close this uh stop presenting okay now i am available for you so the first question that we are going to discuss is that uh do you think any or online uh thanks for your view yes swetha okay half of them are not there in the online okay aishwarya sir sir ah then first swetha hello to bolo sorry sir ah, that's a basic uh, yeah sir actually your voice is flickering uh, yes sir yeah what is it to you so tell Okay, can you hear me better now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes. So my first question is that yes, uh, whether we should use uh, uh, AI, Chat GPT, and softwares for review literature at the initial stage or not use it? Not to use in the initial no. stage. Uh, Why do you feel that? Uh, we won't be able to develop our own skills. To uh, means. Ah, okay. Doing literature review will help you have better understanding. Uh, as you told the table, uh, you gave a table, right? To how we can mention those things. If we do ourselves the literature review, we can use in the, use it in the conclusion when we are discussing. During results, we already have the for in text citation thing, and uh, obviously, initially, uh, while choosing a topic, it will be helpful. That's why uh, first having a hand on literature review ourselves. and then using ai will be an additional part or speeding up the thing yes so the very fact is that what uh, sukan has told is very clear i has told you what are the qualities of a good researcher and review literature so will it develop your language skills or not develop your language skills when you do yourself it will yes, develop it will develop it will very good so first and foremost, foremost if you good if you if you uh use a machine based uh, software and thing they have a structured language 
And let me tell you, Sukanya's language will be different than Vicky's and Vicky's language will be different than Madhubala's. So very clearly, it will help us to have your own style of writing and everybody has their own style of writing. For example, I will tell you, I like to use the word called enhance. Somebody may say increase. Okay, I, somebody may say uh, deep down, I may say nadir point. So each one has a style of writing and that is how you should be able to uh, groom your language skills. Then second thing, machine is pre-determined. Uh, and if you look at that, they will give you in one structure. But as we understand our requirement not be in the same structure, it may be in different ways. So logically, we should be able to put it across part of it. Okay. And third thing, you might not give the correct command at point of time and that might give you a different, it's like robot. If you don't give the correct uh, command to the robot, it will do something different than what you expect. For them. So my honest request is that software are good only to get validation and improvise it. But ultimately, you should be able to do this particular part of it. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions, please? Uh, I'm ready to give as many long time. Huh? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Six yes, o'clock. I can speak to it till 630. Don't worry about that. Yes, sir. Sir, I had a question. Uh, in literature review, in-text citation is something that we got to know. Paraphrasing uh, means uh, once we read a paper, we have to mention it in our own words. That is something I is manageable. But for me personally, synthesizing is really difficult. So can you just suggest or uh, okay, give some so, tips? Uh, sir, Ahit ka? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Ahit. Ah, Munde, sir. Maybe me, you know, I take a next session, I will talk on this because yes, sir. it will take sure. some time. Though there was a PowerPoint below this huh, on in-text citation, paraphrasing, because that is very important. So I just showed you a demonstration what is paraphrasing and synthesis because that is very, very important. Because I will tell you, a lot of students na logical reasoning naste because of that. Munji A should follow B, B should follow C, C should follow D. And then you develop it. It is like, I mean, English uh, CD worth it sadna, ya scaffolding muntami. We, in English, we call it scaffolding. How you, uh, you know, start from generalized to a specific point. So it's a funnel shape that we need to. Do. So next, uh, whenever I come, I will take for about 15 minutes paraphrasing and uh, synthesizing. Okay. And how to, what are the in-text citation types that I will take on? Okay. Any okay, other sir, questions? Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. If you do not have questions, okay, let's do a revision of the class. That's very important because some of you have written notes, some of you have not written notes. Okay. What are the three major components of review of literature? Compilation, critical evaluation and organizing the data and relating to your topic. Correct. So very, very clear. Okay. This is very clear. Okay. Tell me uh, the first step of review of literature that we looked at. Define and refine. Define and refine. Then? Good language skill. No, no, no. I'm not talking about skill. Priya, no. I'm skill. Ke evaluation. Huh? evaluation. No, 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 no. Evaluation. After refine and define, I gave an example. Diya tha. Bolo, yaad rakho. I like to give examples. I gave an example. I gave example. Chal apan chapatya ni chaha vigri kar What is that I called? Filter. 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 Filter or sort. Haan, sort according to me. And third? Uh, connecting with your topic. Connecting our topic or I would just say that organize. I will use this word organize. Organize. Like I showed you one chat. Of my student had brought... Uh, so many articles, then I it has sorted paper one, paper two. I said, no, this is not it. So sorting has to be done very clearly. Okay, very nice. Okay. Then what are the three or four steps of uh, doing review of literature? The four C's? Four, four C's, yes. Cite, compare, um, choose correct article. No, first is site. When you say it, we will do it. We will do it. First is site. Compare and connect. One minute. One minute. There is Professor Jagdish Khandvi. Professor Sai Bola. First. First is site. Second, compare. And then third is contrast. And fourth is connect the literature. Correct. Very, very important. I will say you only remember three. First is citing. 
Second is compare and contrast. It becomes two. You can do that. And third is connect with your research. If you do not have a connect, you are doing absolutely isolation. Means there is no emotional connect. They are only a physical entity. But you have to become emotional about your research, and therefore it's very important you to connect. What do you mean by the word connect? What do you mean by the word connect? Relevance. 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 Fantastic. It is what is relevance. or you can very clearly say whether it's applicable to your research or not really applicable or research and if it is not applicable you have to say why because maybe it is has not good in depth analysis nahi hai or it has some pedagogical issues and many other things okay very clearly done so we have learned first part second part what was the third part how do you write a review of literature what are three major components of writing a review of literature Topic introduction oh sorry no 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 there are types of research don't get into that first introduction is, body and conclusion body. correct in body what will you do what are the major components of body uh period area methodology fantastic so please i will repeat again because we are all uh, learners in introduction you have to be very clear what is the topic okay which is the area and what is the time period that's very clear in discussion what was the objective how it was achieved that is methodology and what is the outcome and in conclusion what will you put your critical evaluation very very clearly what is your comment what is your understanding okay very clearly you understood this particular part okay so we finished this part then the next part was that we looked at what are the different types of review of literature topical chronological cause and effect uh, general to specific specific to general uh, interrogative argumentative and all these things so don't, i don't want to do it because it is a theoretical base you can only refer that part of it okay uh, then what are the two major tabular forms of uh, review of literature that i taught you today table based which are two types sanga one was an excel and one was on the uh, word document ha huh. what was that sukanya you can tell okay uh, sir you want me to talk about the elements uh, which i mentioned no. in the word no no one thing which i talked about the template ek template dilo ta yes, so sir. when you are doing review literature you have to learn to use a template Yes, you have provided. Yes. Ah, so you have to use that template, which will help you to write your review literature. And second thing, which I said was a use an Excel sheet. Yes, sir. Ah, so that's very important because it will help you to write your first chapter very clearly because your template will help you to do your review literature. But your Excel sheet will help you to find out which your methodological part of it. Yes. Okay. So that is one thing. Last thing which we want to also learn is that. other than review of literature what did you learn that review of literature will help you to do write your introduction did you all learn this review of literature will also help you to validate your methodology and that is very important because very very clearly you can very clearly say so many researchers have used this methodology and therefore i find it appropriate to use that methodology so nobody will going to question ki bhai why did you use this methodology or you can say the methodology has been changed based on the local area needs but this has been generally used so that is something which is very very clear then uh, somebody asked me if there is a interdisciplinary approach what do i do you should encourage it i just told my formula 60 40 meaning your core subject but 40% and i will tell you when i was my phd was on population of goa and um, i only talked about uh, you know uh, population growth uh, uh, growth of christianity urbanization everything as a normal geography student but my phd guide said this is not your research go and give it to one sociologist and one anthropologist and let me tell you my thesis changed the reason was very simple because why christianity increased in goa was the first question that was raised so very clearly we had to introduce a topic called as uh, conquest by the portuguese and conversions 
and that became a very good uh, thesis and let me tell you my external referee was rc chandna who is called the father of population geography so he was my external referee he said uh, never this was a type of thesis that i write because only geographers only talk about patterns of growth uh, demographic transition and everything but here there is lot of sociological approach a historical approach and historical narratives were given how people came to goa so why people have a lot of saraswats in goa why do you have a uh, uh, christian community in goa all these answers were question which the external referee never raised this question so he said that it is a well holistic type of research that came so i always believe we have to learn to blend interdisciplinary approach don't look at in very uh, narrow point so you when you do review literature from other subjects you will get more methodologies and which will add more value to your thesis okay yes sir yes, uh, sir so anybody any a questions more uh so i had a request here can you just share some uh, or mention few thesis which we should go through to have a better idea of uh, how a literature review should be means the ones which you feel are the best literature literature review by now we would like to go through it because right now you gave us small paragraphs and chunks were there which we got to know it was uh, helpful but when we actually get to know what it is to write a the- in in a thesis so it will be a okay. yes, will be helpful uh, so uh, what i will do munde sir i will give some sample copies of review literature because see uh, here the students are of a different uh, topics but yes. i will try to give one topic and uh, how a review literature can be organized and i will put what type of res- uh, review literature is this what type of review literature, so that you can understand this okay, okay sir. absolutely yes. not a problem any other questions you can take a number from sir also and if there are specific questions you can ask or i can tell you my number is 98 yes. 50 45 yes. 65 thank you sir yeah so anybody who wants to again i am going to come back for one or two more lectures so you can always put up your questions that we can address that munde sir the next time kaya tar you can let me know ma yes yes address kuru shakto the questions okay i hope it was helping you and i just want to thank uh, first sp college for conducting this course on research methodology which is very essential the principal dr gaikwad and then of course the coordinator dr nitin munde is here and all the participants for actively participating because one of the biggest challenge is online pay there is no connect physically but i'm sure uh, uh, online also is a good connection thank you very much yes sir yes uh thank you very much sir uh, for your uh, sharing uh, invaluable insights with us today uh, you had detailed explorations of the uh, basically the literature review process mm. in geographic research and uh, this is uh, 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 beneficial to our students because this is very uh, deeper understanding uh, to all the research scholars how to approach of this critical aspects of the work so uh, therefore i really uh, thank you sir and uh, last uh, session is a concluding of this sessions uh, so uh, vicky shirole hello vicky is there yes sir yes sir i am there ah uh, vicky please propose the vote of thanks yes sir um hello sir uh, hello everyone my name is vicky shirole i would like to take this opportunity to extend our sincere thanks to dr nandu kumar savan sir we are extremely grateful for the invaluable guidance you provide during today's session we extend you knowledge and experience have offered us emissions learning opportunities opportunities and have proven to be very beneficial your detailed guidance and the depth information have clear clarified many aspect for us this uh, insight you are shared on the literature review in part- particular have been incredibly useful we look forward to con- continuing beneficial uh, benef- uh, benefit for your uh, uh, expert guidance in the future um as we uh, uh, conclude conclude today's session we kindly request that you share the uh powerpoint presentation and any other education materials with us uh, this will able use to uh, review and understanding uh, 
that topic for more uh, thoroughly we also extend our heart heart left thanks to all organizers and sp college for providing us with this excellent opportunity uh, announcing the conclusion of today's session we express our uh, sincere thank to uh, you sir and all participants um, thank you thank you once again for the cooperation and uh, guidance sir uh, thank you